I know it's been quite a minute. I am starting this. There's so much to go through and to talk about, but I'm going to start slowly and start with just thanking everyone. I'm going to be going through all of the cards and gifts that I've been getting over these last weeks. But today just felt like the day to finally sit down and get this started. Um, it is officially spring. It is the 21st of March. Typically, March, uh, spring would have been the 20th or the 21st, but it's a leap year. And that means it started on actually on the 19th. Um, I was researching this. Did you even know that um, the Earth takes slightly longer to rotate the sun than the 365 days that the calendar has allotted. There is actually five hours and 48 minutes and 46 seconds more that it takes. So every year they just don't count those years on the calendar until the leap year. That's when they add them all in. I didn't know that. You learn something new every day. It's going to be about the gifts. We know 2024 has not been the best year for me. Um, maybe it was a premonition. I don't know. The way life goes, who knows, or the way things happen. But um, February 3rd was my birthday. So I started getting, you know, cards and things like that from you guys, which is lovely, cards and gifts, and thank you so much. Um, and then, as you know, I went to Minnesota on the 20th, and then unfortunately my father passed away, so I also started getting sympathy cards. So... <laughs> I have a large stack of cards here from you guys that is a mixture of birthday and sympathy cards. That's a weird combination. <laughs> Although maybe not so much in my case. I never like birthdays. I never like the passing of time, so maybe I should be sent a sympathy card instead of a birthday card on my birthday. Anyway, I just want to thank... I'm not going to read the names of every person and every card on here, but you know who you are, the ones that sent them to me, and thank you so very much for doing that. What I do want to do, though, is just try <clears throat> and go through the gifts that I got. Sorry, I just ate a <laughs> lavender scone with my coffee, and I'm a little bit phlegmy. Those are from April, again, by the way. Thank you, April. <laughs> You're way too generous. Okay, I have to put my glasses on to do this because I can't read. Otherwise, I uh, might as well start with these beauties. I, now, if I make mistakes and I forget people, I apologize in advance, but the boxes were coming while I was away. I was only supposed to have been away five days and I would, you know, ended up being away over two and a half weeks. And so I was asking Jake to open up boxes in case there's anything perishable in there, which there was. So, but then in all the time I was away, well, things got a little disorganized. So I don't know if I have the right things with what. I hope so. Some things I can't read writing writing on the cards that well. So anyway, I hope this is right. Anyway, these lovely lemons and oranges, which are incredible, came from Pat. So thank you, Pat. Just love that. So good. I wish I had trees like that in my yard. Thank you. Um, this is one. I'll start right off the bat. It's a, it's an ornament with a bird bath on it. Um, that was given to me and I, I apologize because I don't know what happened to the card. This was quite a while ago and I saved the card somewhere so well that I can't remember where I put it. I'm sorry about that. Um, Dina, thank you for this ornament as well. It's a hand handmade ornament, each of the message on it. so. Thank you. Very, very nice of you. Uh, let's see. Let's just start. One thing that I got in this bag, this is part of the, the the gift, was an oak that was starting to grow into a little tree. It's from a company called Seeds of Life. And it was from Jake's girlfriend, Maddie, and her mom, Kim. So thank you. I love trees. You know, I'm a tree hugger. So... Uh, hopefully that will grow. Unfortunately, it had come out of the moss, the damp moss that it had been started in. I'm not sure that it will, but we're aware of that, so they might be sending a new one. All right, what else? What else? What else? What else? Um, this mug. Hang on, I can't see my screen. 
Uh, this is from Lynn. She sent me this mug to match the sweatshirt that she had gotten me, which is a horse and a dog head put together in a heart. Thank you. You know, I always like my coffee and my tea. What else? Um, April, you've given me several things, so. <laughs> you guys all heard me moaning and groaning about my knees. And she sent me some knee braces, so. I will be giving those a go. They've been really good, and then all of a sudden, without doing any walking, a couple days ago, my left knee is killing me again. I don't know why. Um, so I will be using those. I got a couple of books. Um, okay, let's see. Yeah, okay, this book. Uh, it's called Being Human, 150 Practices to Make It Easier. This is from... Surely, so thank you. Uh, looks like a very interesting read. I think I'll be reading that. And I also got this book. Now this is what, oh, hang on, I'll be right back. This is one I need help on because unfortunately, of course we threw the packaging away which had the, the printed out name on it, but I can't read the name on the letter. I blacked out your address, but I'm going to show this so that you can help me to tell me who this is. I don't want to be able to thank you, but unfortunately I can't read the name. And you've given me something in the past. This is this lovely potting that comes from um, North Carolina, where you're from. You originally gave me this beautiful one. It's really nice. And now you just sent this one, which is just gorgeous. I love this kind of natural stuff. Oh, and also there's a bowl. I've been using the bowl already <laughs> for my buckwheat. Um, I have it all, yes, I have it all. It was in my clean dishes rack because I had just washed it. Isn't that pretty? Right up my alley. I love this kind of earthy stuff. So I've been having my morning buckwheat in that. Got this hat. <laughs> Um, this is from Roberta, and this is what it says, if you can, if you can read that. You, when you put it on, obviously, the writing is upside down because it says, if you can read this, put me back on my horse. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, it's very warm, and, I, and, and it's nice and big. I've been wearing this kind of, this freaky weather, you know, it goes from being 80 degrees to this is the water freezing again this morning, so yeah, I've been using that. Um, okay, what else? Shirley, thank you for the very lovely long letter that you wrote to me. Um, I gotta move some stuff. There's just one more big box here. This big basket, which is basically a get well basket. Love the basket, by the way. Um, it was sent by one of my voice students, uh, Selenia, and it's a gift from her and also from her friends, um, what are their names again, Marcus and Joe. They sent me all this stuff. They were meant to have come to see me in the, uh, at the Alabama Symphony gig, which of course I couldn't do. And it's full of stuff. So I think these are teas, I think these are for me. Um, and it's the stuff, immune support, silver, silver biotics, um, with a neti pot, <laughs> some more herb blend tea, and this Sambucus black elderberry, which is supposed to be very good for you, and then it had some goodies for old Mozart, who you can hear singing in the background there. A big huge bag of dried mealworms and a mat, natural fiber mat that you put over a rubber mat so that he can forage around for that. He loves the mealworms. I am so glad that he loves them now because he wouldn't eat them before. And now that's all he wants to eat, which is great because he's not eating that cat food, you know, the fresh pet cat food that he's been living on with. And he used to eat a ton of apples, but for some reason, since I've been back, he eats a little bit of apple, but not like he used to. He's just totally into those dried mealworms, which I can keep in there without worrying about spoiling. So thanks for sending that. So I tried it again because I'm really happy about that. 
Um, well, I think that's all the gifts. Oh, there was one. I don't know who this, um, what gift this is, so please help me to remember. It says, um, Dear Linda, I couldn't bring you some good homemade soup, so here's the next best option. I think, oh, I know what this is. That's right, this, I know. This is from Trish and Jill. They sent me soups. <laughs> and they were very good, so thank you, thank you for that. Um, also, I want to make a special shout out to just a couple people in particular. Ellen, who sent me a beautiful frame with the photo I had, had put up on my Facebook page of my hand and my dad's arm. I'll put that into another vlog. Um, I'm going to eventually do something for my dad, but that's going to take me a little while. Um, anyway, Ellen, thanks for that. It's beautiful. Um, I got two wind chimes, and um, one was from my good friend who lives up here that you now know, Rose, and the other is from my friend April, who <laughs> sends me so much stuff. Um, the wind chimes with beautiful sayings on them, and they're already outside, so I'm not going to bring them back in. Although, I have an old version of that wind chime, which I think maybe you have seen in my vlogs. That was originally given to be my Reagan. And I never knew, I mean, it's enough when the wind is really blowing, it will move it with me. I took the, the weight off because it was blowing all the time. And that's not too far off where my bedroom is, so I took that off and it's just perfect because it blows when the wind is strong enough, then you hear, you'll hear it, but it has to be fairly strong, you know. Um, I never knew until I got these two new wind chimes <laughs> that you can adjust the thing. How stupid am I? I'm 63 years old and I just learned that. Anyway, there, I've, now I have three beautiful wind chimes, so thank you guys. Very nice. And the sayings on them are beautiful. I think I'm going to hang one of them. I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to hang one by this tree that I have in my front yard that my dad planted from a little, little tiny green. It's an evergreen. Um, oh, also, surely you sent a pet to live donation. Thank you very much. Um, let's see. Honey, I think you wrote me that beautiful letter. Make a shout out about that. I want to thank Lynn, Mark, and Susan for your card and for thinking of me. Renee, thank you so much for your beautiful card. Lisa, thank you. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, like I said, I'm not going to go. There's so many cards. I'm not going to go through every single one. I just want you to know that I really do appreciate it. And, of course, I want to thank my longtime close friends who have been so supportive and knowing when to reach out and when to kind of leave me alone over this time period. It's been so great. You, you've sent beautiful flowers. Molly, Gal, Ellen, Billy. Thank you, thank you for your for your kindness. I appreciate it. I also got a big, huge, beautiful bouquet of flowers from Dave and Ronnie, my longtime agents, so thank you. They were gorgeous, lasted a very long time. Mom loved them. So anyway, that's what this vlog was about. I'm gonna be a very long one, just something to get me <laughs> back on the horse, basically. And speaking of horse, horse and horses happy to report that max is doing really well um i'm riding him again we just started that and he's healed up from his uh, his injuries it, the mark on his leg is still you know it's flat and dry but it's still closing and that's going to take a few more weeks for that to completely do whatever it's going to do he may eventually still have a scar there i'm not really sure but anyway he's fine so I've started taking lessons again with him and riding, and that's been the best therapy for me ever. But uh, I have a little clip of when I first, when we first took the bandit off, and he got to come out of the stall that he'd been in for 12 days. I'm gonna take a video of this. Happy day! Happy day! <laughs> yeah, are you going to sleep? Yep. You feeling that sedative kicking in?
What's that? Just a little discharge on there. It doesn't smell bad. So it's not closed right there? It's, um, uh, like pus is what it looks like. It doesn't smell bad. I missed most of the really crazy antics. Um, this was after he'd calmed down and I was... I had gone to get my phone to take some footage, and every time he would start, I would miss it. I'd just get the tail end of it, but you get an idea. I mean, he was so happy to be out there and free and running around again. So we were leaving it unwrapped. It has some little tiny bit of proud, fr proud flesh in one spot, and what is holding it together is more granite, granitized flesh than the final good stuff, which isn't that strong, but it's... Even if it opened up completely, it wouldn't. it's mostly cosmetic, I think. And he'll stay on the antibiotics just to make sure he doesn't get an infection. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Happy to be free. Don't run too much, Max. Don't run too much, bud. Careful. Don't you rile him up, Breeze. All right, enough. Calm down. Calm down. I was so worried the leg would it would split open, but fortunately it didn't. Also, I'm sure you, you know by looking at my schedule that we postponed all of my gigs until starting in the beginning of May. Um, haven't done any singing. Hope, hoping that everything is going to be okay once I do start that again. To be honest, I haven't really felt like singing, so... Um, yeah, but that'll be coming around, you know, May will be here before you know it, so... Hopefully we'll be all good on that front, and I will see you all again soon. But meanwhile, I will try to get back to making a vlog. I have a few, you know, to be made, so I will get back at that. Anyway, thanks for watching, and thanks for caring. See you around.